Turbo Trading with head trader Robert Knight, MBA. So Gary M has asked the question, should we be shorting stocks in here with the, uh, especially with the political tension in uh, the war in the Ukraine? And there's a problem with it. As I've been saying for the last, you know, couple of weeks or so, month, these charts are all looking bearish. They're in a downtrending channel. But they have come down and made a correction, you know, a 10% correction, which would, is, is pretty standard in a rising bull market. It hasn't, it sort of, it hasn't entered into bear market territory. But this could be a one, two, three, four. We could have, get one more wave down, wave five. Um, but on the shorter term, these, these charts are all, they're neutral. They could pop, you know, it's halfway between, it's halfway in the range here between 4160 and 4460 at 4300 so it could go either way here now if it got up to 4460 and failed then you'd be looking to short stocks one of the things that makes me think that you this is not the good level to be shorting stocks is that the total put option volume has spiked to record highs and it's and a lot of that is retail traders so it's unlikely i mean especially with the war in the ukraine so it's unlikely that the markets will do what the what you want it to do, and that is to go down. Whenever you have a record high put option, that's usually a sign that the market's going to go the other way, as as would be with call options. If you had record call buying, then most likely the market goes down. But with the abject fear in the market, with the record put options, most likely the markets uh, trade up from here. To the 4460. Now, of course, there's always the nuclear deterrent option, which would negate everything I'm saying, of course. But uh, if if the market continues this way, now the, the NDX is a bit different. We can see it is close to the top of the channel. This is a one, two, three, four. It could roll over one more time down to 13,000. Um, so you would, you know, you get some movement in these stocks. But if we look at stocks in the tech sector just you know a few ideas that we were looking at before um, AFRM you know the stocks come down from 150 to you know 32 33 I mean how much lower can it go well it can go to zero for sure but from 150 to 33 it's probably starting to show some value um, you know, SE stock came from 365, you know, down to 120 now, 125. And that's a big pullback. So can they go lower? Sure they can. But is there is the easy money been made? Yes, it has on the short side on most of these stocks. Sophie, you know, from 25 to, to 10. S. Already has bounced off this low, you know, came from 80 down to 30, 32. So a lot of these stocks already have had big pullbacks, and and which was, uh, and I missed this move on on the, some of these pullbacks because the idea was reluctant to short stocks with the with the spy so strong. Uh, a lot of these stocks pulled back when with the spy so strong they had these big six percent moves but in general it was you know still in the big rising channel so you know perhaps we missed the, the opportunity to short stocks now I'm looking for an opportunity to, to buy stocks not to short them uh, maybe we get one more rollover but uh, I think that gives you an opportunity to buy not to sell don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel reach new levels of trading proficiency Become a member at turbotrading.biz.